I thought you were going to go into broadcasting. I, I, I thought that's what you wanted to do, that if this didn't work out. Were you close to going into broadcasting as opposed to coaching? Uh, I was. I was. I actually, I, I got a chance to do it, you know, you know, not significantly, but I got a chance to broadcast some games, got a chance to do some studio shows and things like that. Um, and I really enjoyed it because I thought it was a, a way to stay around the game and, and, you know, I could watch tape and come up with ways I thought teams would win the game and advantages they had and, and then be able to kind of talk about those, you know, if possible. And, 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 and really what happened, Dan, is uh, when I first got them playing, you know, my wife, she's turned into an unbelievable coach's wife. I mean, we've got our fourth kid on the way uh, due this year, and, and, and I don't know how she does it some days. Um, but it was really just a family decision at first um, where I just thought, hey, you know what? We've been traveling around a lot. Uh, you were always with me every step of the way when I was going from city to city as a player. Uh, why don't we just hit the pause button for a second? I'll try to, you know, make this career work. And I enjoyed it. But ultimately, there was always just something missing for me um, as far as, you know, just being truly in it, being in it on a day to day basis, being around the players, being around coaches. Um, that when I got the opportunity to coach quarterbacks in 2015, um, I jumped at it and really haven't looked back since. 